Iron Mike's medical situation last week forced a fight to be postponed which gave a severe blow to fans hoping to witness Mike Tyson defeat Jake Paul on July 20th although it now appears as though Jake Paul has just announced his new opponent which may shock most of you but who is it exactly be sure to stick around till the end for the full details in a recent statement Mike Tyson said on X that he had received advice to take a few weeks off from training and he had also issued Paul a stern warning, a highly anticipated fight between social media sensation turned boxer Paul and heavyweight great Mike Tyson was originally scheduled to light up the Dallas Cowboy Stadium in Texas this summer, but the match has been medically cancelled due to Tyson's ulcer flare-up that occurred during a flight last week which has caused the event to be postponed indefinitely. Paul addressed the fight's delay, expressing his disappointment. Obviously devastating news, I'm heartbroken, speechless, gutted you Tyson said you want to do this in Q4, I'm ready you just need a little bit of time, so I'm ready whenever you already stated he also posted a video explaining the situation in detail. Part over here, everyone in this camp, and I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event, the whole undercard, this is, opportunity has been ripped from all of us, but I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost, love that guy, I have so much respect for him, and um, I want Mike to be healthy and he says he still is gonna knock me out and I bought myself some time <laughs> so Mike is still talking shit over there uh, but Mike if you want to do this like you said behind closed doors behind the scenes you said you want to do this in Q4 you just need a little bit of time so I'm ready whenever you are this is too big of an opportunity I think this fight's gonna change the world and I turn all my L's into W's that's a motto I live by the universe makes no mistakes, so let's see what's in store. But sorry this didn't work out to everyone, the fans. Love you guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. By doing this, you'll never miss out on any future videos from the combat sports world. Jake Paul also posted a picture crying in the rain last night as he's depressed seeing as the biggest fight of his life is now cancelled and this had everyone laughing with numerous posts like hey baby it's raining I'm going to go out outside and melodramatically pretend I'm upset in front of the giant pool outside my mansion then we'll give it to the team to upload and we'll go get some dinner and drinks sound good awesome dude missed out on 100 million I'd be depressed as too he is thinking about all the money and fame Dylan Danis says he knows the true reason for the postponement of Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul he made reference to USC CEO Dana White, who responded in a telling way, and in a biting social media post, he branded the problem child a scumbag on X. He wrote, I know the reason. Mike Tyson had to postpone the fight. I spoke to his close friend, and like Dana White said, he knows but doesn't want to get involved. In respect to Mike, it's actually truly sad. What's going on, Jake Paul? You're truly a scumbag for knowing what he's going through with not ending this. In answer to a question regarding the cancellation of Mike Tyson's battle with Jake Paul, USC President Dana White had a telling response. Yeah, obviously, I know a lot about it, but I'm not going to talk about it publicly. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I for the first time probably ever in my life, I have no comment on something. It's that's that's Mike world and you know he gets pissed at me every time i talk about that stuff good for him and they'll figure it out mike tyson has several substitutes prepared and eager to take on jake paul following the postponement of their fight on july 20th paul has been informed by ryan garcia that he is willing to face paul in place of tyson following a contentious upset victory over devin haney king ryu tested positive for the performance enhancing substance osterin posted a screenshot of a direct message in which he offered paul to fight him instead jakey boat if you down to fight if mike can't do it let me know i will fill in garcia said his offer is not without its problems not the least of which is the lingering drug crisis however paul has gained weight and is far heavier than garcia nevertheless garcia has a far longer professional history than the youtuber so even with the weight disparity paul could be hesitant to challenge garcia big paul versus ryan garcia versus ryan garcia i want to see that you never know one day i might have to fight jake in the ring let's do it i'm all for it He's a bigger guy, but I feel like I could beat him. I know I would. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest thoughts on this entire situation? Who should Jake Paul fight as his replacement come July 20th? Ryan Garcia, Logan Paul, or someone else? Comment down below for years now. There's always been the what if Logan Paul and Jake Paul fought as it's never been done with two brothers before and considering the history and past few the pair have been through it would be gigantic. Well, when the news came out that Mike Tyson was pulling out of the fight due to his health, Logan Paul was quick to post out. So Mike Tyson's out, I'll step in, we can settle this.
this once and for all at Jake Paul. Jake then saw this and fired back with mom, doesn't want me to KO you but a loser has to change their last name. Hashtag Paul Pull. I mean, what a fight that would be. It would break records worldwide. And the amount of people that would tune in if it was on Netflix would be absurd. Although it does seem like Logan Paul is heading down the Wii route, which is best for him. And as he didn't exactly look too good against Dylan Danis in their fight. Give me my fights. That me and Nate Diaz have been talking about that for years and then you popped up and were like no now it's my turn i want that fight and then start talking shit and then try to like get the fight at in saudi arabia like on the microphone and like trying to like jump in on all of these things i think i'm better than you and i think nate chose you for a reason and i think everyone knows that even what do you mean in, even in even in here but what have you done to prove that you're better than me i don't know went toe to toe eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time what do you think happens if you fight floyd mayweather I would knock him out. Bro. One hundred percent. After Paul versus Tyson was postponed, the American called out KSI to take Iron Mike's place. Despite their long-standing enmity, the two have never faced off in a boxing ring. After going up against Logan Jake's brother twice, Jake now feels compelled to exact revenge for his brother Xi's coach, saying he is over two hundred pounds right now. So no wait excuses. Let's run it for July twentieth, and then Paul Tyson in October November. But that notion was immediately discarded. I've already got a fight lined up in August instead of you fighting. Writing a note at the end of the year, no one wants to see this fight me in December. Instead, Paul then proposed early 2025 as a substitute following his rescheduled fight with Tyson and just gave KSI and his forehead the opportunity again for July. He said he's fighting in August. Cool on fighting in October, November, February it is 200 bits MSG anyway. See, get it done. I agreed to fight you. I agreed to fight you for free, and you know that, and everyone online knows that. On short notice, you had me, you had me two weeks before your fight. I could have fought you for free. I could have fought you for free on short notice and you still pussied out. Tommy's not gonna fucking show up either, brother. <laughs> you and him, you, hey, hey, what, what, what's, hey, what's in the water in the UK? Cause, cause y'all be pussies. <laughs> That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.